Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're going to be going into the E.A. Poe house. E.A. as in Edgar Allan Poe. Stay tuned and find out more. Now the E.A. Poe House is handicap accessible, as you can see by these ramps here. Now, when we first enter the E.A. Poe House, we are hit with a stark realization that this is not Edgar Allan Poe. But there is a stark difference between E.A. Poe and Edgar Allan Poe, as you see here. The 1897 Poe House is named because it was built as the home of E.A. Poe who was a local businessman and owner of the Poe Brick Company. No relation to Edgar Allan Poe. Now the deed of the house is in the name of his wife, Josephine, originally from Wake County, who married Poe in 1880. Learn about life in the two decades of the 20th century and the changes that define this area by touring the home of an affluent Fayetteville businessman and his family. Tours highlight women's roles, African-American history, children's roles, the technological, economical, and social changes in Southern North Carolina and the country during this era. Guided tours of the 1897 Poe House are offered at 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, at least as of the time of this video. Now, Saturday tours can also be given uh, beginning at 10 a.m. with the last tour at 4 p.m. On Sunday, tours are given on the hour beginning at 1 p.m. with the last tour at 4 p.m. Now, visitors must check in at the Museum of the Cape Fear Lobby to sign in for the tour. Suggested donation is $2 per adult, $1 per child, under the age of 12. Again, these times and prices are as of the date of this video. Well, thank you for coming along with me to the EA Poe House. Now that we know who it is, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. And as always, have a great day.